Good morning ladies and gents and everybody out there. Thanks for watching Ace Fin Fishing. And uh, remember if you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and hit that notification button, select all, and you will get notified every time we upload a video. You can still choose which ones uh, would interest you to watch. But it really helps us and like the videos as well. Um, that gets uh, our uh, algorithm pushed through YouTube going a bit better. So yes, through the lockdown period, we said we'll make some additional videos, extra traces, get you guys to uh, give you some tips in, in preparing for what's coming. Yeah, Natal and uh, best part of our coastline, we re we we approaching the winter time, which means Garrick. Okay, guys, such an awesome fish to catch, such a good strong fighter, clean fighter. Um, sometimes very clever if the water is calm, so then you you tap down. Um, I start off by fishing a bit bit um, lighter for them in any case, using uh, 11 foot six, 12 foot six if you don't have to cast too far. Uh, the power spin saltus rod and I'll match that up with a 4000 um, saltus or mag seal or BG and uh, 20 pound line on there or 30 pound wherever you're going to fish you're going to get them off points off harbor walls in the harbors uh, beaches behind back line that's where you're going to get them a lot of guys will target them using uh, slide traces and that's the the normal sliders the return slide not the non-return remember that they will spit your bait um, also using live bait, you're using shads most of the time and I'll do a separate video for that on that trace. Today we're gonna, I'm going to do a cast trace. When you use smaller live baits like mullet, um, your 30 centimeter shad you can probably still cast on a 12 foot 6 power spin. Um, but um, quarantine and specifically uh, moss bunker off the boat in the harbors, um, live mackerel, live mullet, that's what this trace is for. All right, guys, so very, very simple when I'm going to cast that is I'm going to start off just with a, a single swivel. And that's a number four, number five, which I'll use. All right, power swivel, there we go, number four. And then a much smaller one as the slide. That's a slide swivel to my main line. I'll show you guys now what I mean with that. And then my preferred hook, what you're going to need, you're going to need small cable ties and this you stick through the eyes of your bait. All right, just above the eye, you find that little soft spot there, there's a little membrane, you're going to push it through and you're going to push it through the other side until it's out. You're going to close it up, put your circle hook in there and secure it with another cable tie onto this cable tie. All right, and we've got some videos on that. And I'll show you guys now that's sitting through the eyes. You're going to clip it off and I'll show you now when the trace is finished. Very simple trace guys. In my opinion for all those mullets and unless you go really small mullet you're going to downsize to a 4.0, 5.0 but the 7.0 uh, in my opinion is, is the, the nicest hook for a good hookup on the Garrick. Now why would I fish it this way? The important or the, the benefit of, of using this particular trace and casting a live bait into the right spot is your hookup is much better. Okay, you're gonna have that pickup of a Garrick and as it goes down you just hold and you tighten up and this hook sets immediately because the Garrick grabs its prey and its fish always from the head. Now if you're using a big live bait you have to allow that fish to eat it. You're gonna have to allow the Garrick to do its first run where it's perceived that they take the scales off first before they swallow that fish. Now they will do it with a small fish as well, but because your, your bait is small, it fits in its mouth nicer and your hookup rate's great with a circle hook. You just tighten up because it's swimming away from you and that pulls to the corner and sets the hook in the corner of the mouth. So a very, very effective way of, of targeting them. There in Jeffrey's Bay, those areas that Gary come right in where they have those small little holes on the on the on the shoreline there a couple of yos in those areas that come right in and with a live mullet there cob um, and garrick comes right in and picks it up same story uh, the thing there is they also have the diamond skates that pick up your live bait very interesting they're a lot a lot more often than what we find at your natal where uh, a diamond skate will eat uh, a live bait now guys just a figure of eight that's all i'm going to tie look the right knot would be you can snarl this 
So let's snub it. It just increases your hookup rate, but so I'll rather advise you guys to snub the hook. Okay, I sometimes just tie a figure of eight, but to snub this rubber band is it's making it a bit more difficult. And again, Siglon 0.55. For most most uh, lighter type fishing I do, this is this is uh, the diameter I use. It's 38 pounds, 17 kilos, and Siglon fluorocarbon. Fantastic for most edible fishing. You can go up to 0 0.60, but that gets a bit stiff. But 0.55, in my opinion, even off the boat, this is my leader line uh, when I troll for game fish. So, all right, to snell the hook, you're going to need to cut the length you want. Right, so make it. Comfortable to cast because you're not using, if you're using a 12 foot uh, and 11 foot 6, you're going to use a shorter trace, okay, like that. You can make this longer if you're using, for instance, the Poseidon edible, which is a fantastic edible rod and will work great. If you need to get the bait a bit further, throw a heavier sinker with a longer rod, that's the rod to use, okay. Now, when you snell, okay, you stick it from the front, always from the front to the back, and you hold it there. Now you'll see, there's your hook join, All right? You go on the opposite side, so you don't sit in that join, all right? And when fishing monofilament like this, I will do it 12 times. Normally it's seven, eight, but I will do it a couple of extra turns, and then always out to the front, okay? And that's it. And if you use knot glue, you'll use that on there. But just a bit of knot glue. Okay. I don't even bother. That's why I turn it 12 times and it's never had a problem. Check this every time you reel back and you put in your bait. And make sure it's still nice and tight. Alright. Now it's as simple as that, guys. And that'll tie to the, to the swivel. With a figure of 8. And like I always say in the traces, lubricate your knots before you pull them tight because it will weaken the line if you don't. Okay, when it's dry, it gets stuck and then it burns and it, uh, it makes a weak spot. All right, so that's your trace. Very simple. Now all you're going to do onto your leader, you're going to add this swivel so it's free sliding. Let's do that. You don't want any resistance when fishing for Garrick, no resistance, all right? Because they do feel it, they do drop the bait. So what I'll do is, you can use two beads. Let's grab two beads. No particular color here I've got in mind, but uh, for any game fish, the chartreuse uh, colors would uh, would be my preferred ones. But this is for demo purpose. I'm just uh, putting two beads. In fact, let's use the smaller ones. It's lighter. These little green ones. Okay. And that's to protect just your knot. So I'm putting one on to your leader using a smaller swivel for your sinker. So it's a full slide. And then you've got a fair leader. If you're fishing braid like that, 30 pound, this will go onto your braid. No leader. Because if you're going to put a meter leader now on your braid, in front of your braid, you're still going to have a knot, and this is going to stop there. So if that Garrick's not far enough yet, it's going to stop, he's going to feel the resistance, it's going to drop. So I wouldn't put a leader, I would put the braid straight to my sinker, oh, my hook line. And above that, on the braid, I would do this. Okay. So this is going to your trace. So figure of eight. And then from there, you've got your sliding sinker rig. And on there, you'll tie your sinker. And that's your choice how long you will make that. Um, when casting live baits, I prefer basically my hook sits here. I want my sinker to sit here when I cast this, so the sinker doesn't hit my live bait. So it's just above your your live bait, or you can make it longer if you've got a shorter uh, hook snoot trace. 
but you want, don't want that sinker to smack the poor live bait against the head and there's no more live bait. Now your sinker line doesn't really have to be a fluorocarbon. And just a loop connection to the sinker. And the sinker you'll vary the size. If you've got a bigger live bait, you're gonna throw a smaller sinker. If your rod can't handle the heavier sinker, depending how strong the sea is, and when you're fishing, you'll adapt your sinker accordingly. The lighter you can go, the better. All right, so guys, this is going to your rod, your main line, and there we go. You see it's just above the hook, my sinker, and the hook's hanging there. When it hits the water, this will go up, the fish will swim, the fish will swim around, and then like I mentioned, this is sitting in the fish's eyes through the top of his head like that. Now you wanna keep your circle hook facing up like that, so a lot of times what you'll do, it'll just secure the hook again with another cable tie around the first cable tie and your hook shank. And that you'll just tighten up nicely. Like that. So it can't come off and you can cast it. All right, so your bait sitting, it's keeping it nicely, and when the Garrick hits that on the front and it pulls you flat, that hook will set, like it's sitting in my hand now. All right, simple like that, guys. Feel free to, to ask for suggestions of there's certain things you want us to cover and make videos on, and thank you for watching our channel. Please make sure you subscribe. Please hit that little notification button so you can get notified every time we upload a video. And all the best for this lockdown period, guys. Use this time to spend with your family. Uh, you might get to know them, and they might be very nice people. Enjoy it out there.